Bushwhacker and Asteroid went head-to-head -head seven times in 2011. Bushwhacker held the edge four to three. They are two four-legged athletes that epitomize what is great, and their rivalry has elevated the bovine game. Here's a look at these two titans. We had heard about Asteroid. We watched him buck a little while. We decided we wanted him, and that's, that's kind of where it started from. Circle T Ranch and Rodeo's best. You know, I can't say enough about him. Everyone is talking about Bushwhacker. Richard Oliveira and Julio Marino own Bushwhacker. They live out there in California, but like I said, I've spent more time with him than anybody else in the world. He really and truly don't really care much for people. I had him when he was a two-year-old. We went to some charities with him, bucked him with the dummy. He was a he was pretty much a lunatic as a two-year-old. Heavyweight weigh-in and the official kickoff of the Dickies Iron Cowboys three here at the, the beautiful Cowboys Stadium. We have the uh, PBR World Champion Bucket Bull Bushwhacker, 1,737 pounds. To my right is the runner-up world champion buck and bull asteroid, 1,398 pounds. Bushwhacker is Ray Lewis, and I would say that asteroid is Deion Sanders. When he goes in that buck and shoot, he means business. I mean, the, the scratching's over with then. A racehorse in there, he's just so ready for that gate to open. Asteroid on for size. It's just a... 100% explosion. He's kind of an underdog. He's the little guy. And uh, so far, he's holding his own. Oh, boy. A lot of times, the guy's already on the ground, and it's like he hasn't even got started yet. We couldn't even dreamed of a bull like this. I'm one of the few guys that's privileged enough to get on Bushwhacker and Asteroid in the same week. Bushwhacker is the other extreme. Bushwhacker, uh, he'll stand in that shoe like show calf, and you can definitely tell uh, you're not intimidating him at all. Bushwhacker really climbs in that front end and really gets way up high off the ground. His front feet hit, and he already starts his next jump while his hind feet are still this high off the ground. He just gets higher with every jump and, and a little stronger. Bushwhacker is the rankest bull I've ever put my boy rope on. I've been riding professionally for 12 years in the PBR. I think the moment that got the world's attention on Bushwhacker is when he when he slung J.B. Mooney in there like a rag doll. You want to see explosive? Holy cow. I nodded after about the first jump. My face hit the back of his head and I went flying in there and the only reason he didn't sling me out of the arena was because my hand was still on my boy rope. I think the anticipation level is very high to see what Bushwhacker's going to do. He's either going to be twice his rank, or this is going to be the one chance you're going to have to ride him. You know, you got this famous great bull and asteroid that goes every week, and he's impressing millions of people, and his owner's going through a whole different deal at home. Uh, I was diagnosed with lung cancer, liver cancer, and bone cancer. I've been fighting it for about 14 months, and my battle is almost over. Uh, I did not win the battle against cancer. At the end of the day, these bulls have taught me a lot. I'm proud to be a part of it. And I hope I'm around to be a part a little longer. Every stock contractor dreams to find one bull like this. And Howard found one. The power from Circle T Ranch and Rodeo's best. Greatness like this doesn't come along that often. It's so special when Bushwhacker or Asteroid buck because there'll be one guy riding him and there'll be 39 other bull riders peeking over the shoes to just get a glimpse of every step that this bull makes. Probably both of them sooner or later are going to get rode. And I think when that happens, we are going to see something extraordinary happen. You know, a lot of guys don't want to get on them bulls, but the way I look at it is, who remembers 85-point bull rides? Their personalities and their styles couldn't be more different, Ty, but once the shoot opens, the results are usually the same.